Tracking work in project. When you want to track the progress being made on a project, you must enter different kinds of information. You must tell Project 2016 when you want to track progress. You can track by your computer's current date and time, but you can also do it by a specified date, such as the end of the month. In addition, you can enter the actual start and finish dates of tasks, the percent complete, as we learned in the last lesson, and the hours a resource spent on a task. If you think a task will take more or less time than originally scheduled, you can change the duration. What's more, you can enter materials and use fixed costs for expenses such as outsourcing fees or shipping costs. These things allow you to track every aspect of your project, from work being done, to work completed, to money spent, to money being spent. Project 2016 can help you track everything you need. When you want to track the progress on your project, it is important to first enter a status state. Project will, by default, use the time and date settings on your computer. However, let's say that you want to track the project status through the last day of the month, then enter the data. You can also use the update tasks along with it because you can mark tasks complete up until that date. To set a status state, go to the project tab, then click on the status date button here. Then select a status date. Then click OK. You can click the downward arrow to display the calendar and select a status date. Then click on OK when you're finished. When you are trying to enter a project status, and you notice that a task will be on schedule as of that status date, you can mark the task as part of the way complete as of the status date. To do this, select the tasks that you want to update, then go to the task tab and click the mark on track button. If a task is complete, Project 2016 will automatically assume that the task was started and finished on time. However, if you're wanting to track progress, you'll want to enter the actual start and finish times for each task. To do this, go to either the actual start or the actual finish fields in the worksheet area of the Gantt chart view in Tracking Gantt view here. To go to this view, click the drop down arrow for the Gantt chart button under the task tab. Then click on Tracking Gantt. If you don't see the actual start and finish columns, you can click on the Add New column here and select Actual Start and Actual Finish. You can use the drop down to select when the actual start date was and when the actual finish date was. It is going to be important for you to be able to tell how many hours a resource spends on the project. This is especially important if you have employees or contractors working on the project. Here's how to enter resource hours. Go to the task usage view by clicking the downward arrow for the Gantt chart button, and then select task usage. Find the tasks that you want to track, along with its assigned resources. Resources are listed in a row below the task name, as you can see here. Type in the number of hours that the resource was used. To enter total hours, insert the column named actual work into the spreadsheet. To enter in the hours on the task for each day, right click in the chart pane which is on the right side of the window here. Then choose actual work. The row labelled act work will appear. Click on the act work cell for the day in which the resource worked, then enter a number. Next, repeat that step for every day that the resource worked in that particular task. To enter overtime for a resource, go to the Resource Usage view by going to the Task tab, then select Resource Usage from the drop-down menu. Insert a new column as we've already learnt to do. Select Overtime Work from the list for the type of new column. It's in alphabetical order so it should be down the bottom somewhere. Next, click in the column for an assignment for the resource, then click the up or down arrows to specify the overtime hours worked. 
we're going to select the writer resource for this write first lesson task. We use the up and down arrows to enter the hours for this task. You should note that if you enter overtime, Project 2016 will assume that effort driven tasks have shorter durations. If that's not true, you'll have to edit the task's duration. If the duration of an auto scheduled task has changed while it is in progress or already completed, you'll have to enter those changes into Project 2016. To do this, go to the Gantt chart view. Go to the View tab, then click the downward arrow for the Tables button. Select Tracking. The tracking table is then displayed. Go to the Actual Duration column for the task you want to edit in the duration. Enter the actual duration. You can also enter a remaining duration in the Rem Dur column, which is next to it, which stands for Remaining Duration. Fixed costs aren't changed by time. In other words, they aren't hourly or daily charges. It's just a set fee. To track fixed cost, go to the Gantt chart view. Go to the View tab, then click the downward arrow and the Tables button again. Then select Cost. You'll then see the Cost table in the Worksheet area. Go to the Fixed Cost column for the task you need to update, then type in a fixed cost. You can enter in several fixed costs. It is that easy.